Before I begin, I do want to thank my super fan, Coco Bongo, who does not miss a single video and he always leaves a comment. Anyways, let's get into this. Uh, so what do we have here? We have a box. And obviously, by looking at the side of the box, uh, we can see it's from a company called Ace Labs. So Ace Labs uh, um, is a maker of um, various tools. Uh, one of them is a PC3000 portable, which is one what's in this box. Obviously, you can tell by watching the beginning of the video because there was some B-roll situation there. Um, but um, yeah, we bought this because we needed a portable solution for forensic imaging. We had one that I've made before um, and I've used it, but obviously that solution was not uh, the best at handling um, failing drives or even the new NVMe drive. So anyways, uh, let's get into this box. Let's get rid of this thing. I can go. Uh, that stupid label. Let's open this box and see what's in here. Good thing for sharp knives. I don't have a cool knife to open this with, so we're going to use a scalpel or exacto knife. I think that works the best in this situation. So here's the box without its wrapping. You can cut the tape. And out comes the box. So first thing we see is the manual. Let's go to this thing first. Back to the box. Anyways, first we think first thing we see is the the manual and the actual box. So this manual is um, I believe the installation. No, this is the PC3000 SSD uh, utility uh, manual. I had a look at it uh, already, and it's quite interesting. There's a lot of int interesting information here, uh, supported drives, and I'm probably gonna dig deep into this in the second video. Uh, I'm gonna make a use uh, usage video where uh, I'm gonna show a bunch of different drives what we can do with them drives that don't work. But anyways, let's open this box and see what's inside. So I see we got a flash drive. I'm guessing that is the installation drive, just like with any other product from PC3000, because we have another one already. Uh, this is probably the installation manual and uh, license. Yeah, this is the installation manual. I probably won't have to read this, but it's good to have. Uh, so we have different uh, ways of hooking up the drives into here, different adapters. Oh, well, maybe I'm going to read this later. Yeah, pretty standard PC-3000 uh, booklet. Oh, we'll look at it later. So that can go to the side. All right, so this is the actual box. So we have adapters. We have a card reader, I think. Yeah, this is a um, card reader. We got the power cables, this is the, uh, the power adapter. We have our SATA cables. Uh, this would be M2 adapter and NVMe adapter. Definitely gonna make a video on this uh, particular adapter because we got some failing NVMe drives that are just waiting to be um, recovered. I think only this unit might be able to do it. I still have to check if they're supported. So if they're supported, we're gonna definitely use it and make a video. We already have a um, data recovery tool uh, from DeepSpark that can handle uh, NVMe drives. Unfortunately, that driver, that tool is pretty limited to what it can do. So I'm glad we got this tool and the addition of uh, the NVMe support. Uh, we're going to see how this works out in the future. I know NVMe drives are pretty difficult to recover from, but uh, it's good to have because as long as we can recover it, that's good. Anyways, let's continue. So what else we got here? Uh, we got the cables, we got um, this, this is for hard drives, um, terminal cables to access the terminal on the hard drive. We had a bunch of these from three different units, so uh, it doesn't hurt to have more. They do break sometimes uh, after prolonged use. Uh, so that's that. The SATA cables. And the USB cable, this probably hooks up to the uh, 
unit itself so you can control the unit with the PC2000 on the computer and also the terminal USB cable and here's the unit itself nice little unit um, what do we got here uh, we got multiple ports pretty small so we got light protection uh, USB and port 1 those will be the two source ports we can plug in your USB and hard drive or NVMe drive on the other side we got port 1 and port 2 this is for target drives uh, this is what you gonna we, we're gonna be copying the data to or imaging forensically and this USB I still have to explore what the USB does I haven't uh, really read the entire manual but um, there, will, there will be a follow-up video on this uh, on this unit uh, most definitely Got a cooling fan and this is this is where you hook up the USB cable to control this unit through the computer but this unit works on its own it doesn't need um, a computer itself but if you want to do any more advanced um, work you do need to plug it in definitely nice little unit um, it would be nice to take it in the field when I have to image uh, hard drives forensically uh, another company or individuals, um, residents. Um, my current um, solution was kind of cumbersome and as I mentioned earlier was kind of limited so uh, it's good to have this uh, portable PC-3000. I must say it's very well designed. I mean, it's not cheap, definitely not cheap but uh, it's well designed. So uh, to power it up we're gonna use this um, adapter they gave us and the power cable and just here I've noticed that we received a European plug um, I've contacted Ace Labs and unfortunately they don't give um, American plug but this is not a problem this is just standard um, um, cable uh, we probably have one here in the lab somewhere but um, just so it happens um, right here on my desk I do have a uh, 220 volt uh, power supply which I use for my infrared machine so we're probably gonna just plug it in there and see how this unit works And I'm pretty sure that uh, power supply supports switching voltages between 120 and 220 or 110 and 220 or whatever it is. Let's plug it in and see if it doesn't blow up and thousands of dollars up in smoke. No, nope, it works. So there it is, uh, powered up. Since this unboxing video, I have already recovered uh, one SSD. And I've imaged some drives so this unit is uh, pretty simple to use if you don't have the computer if you're just using it for forensic imaging with hash values um, it's a very nice unit but I'm definitely gonna um, dive deep into this unit uh, in the follow-up videos there might be one or two videos at least of this unit anyways thank you for watching um, you know I gotta do the YouTube thing uh, you know subscribe and like this video and share and all that stuff uh, I have some reading to do, these manuals, um, definitely going to take me some time, I mean I have fundamentals but anyways thanks for watching and check back soon for more videos.